purpose to be in Indonesia is uh, to cut the cut the chain uh, of distribution to make it closer to Indonesia as. Uh, Australia and Indonesia are very close and at that time, 25 years ago, um, not so many promotion or uh, introduction about uh, Australian product uh, to be in Indonesia, even though uh, in Indonesia very famous for Australia at that time and Indonesia know about Australia. Um, my late husband John Federer brought his business to Indonesia and then tried to introduce all Australian products and then until now, we've been successful, uh, built a business in Indonesia, uh, all around uh, mining in Indonesia from uh, Papua to Sumatra. Uh, we have office and then uh, we're selling products in Indonesia from Australia. But the question is how we become uh, successful in Indonesia. Um, I have to let you know uh, the beginning part. I'm a lawyer and then I have experience in, in 25 years bring uh, investors to Indonesia from Australia, which is that a couple of mistakes in that we've been uh, Australian investor come to Indonesia, they don't join the uh, DD legal due diligence, especially in the mining to know the tenant or legal uh, permit that you have. And in the second, they're not really recognizing the past the culture of Indonesia. They're very friendly, but they're not really your friends. Even you've been working with them for 25 years. Uh, what I mean in code that we have to know that the difference. And third, about the marketing promotion that not being so uh, focused at the time. So uh, many products of Indonesia and uh, Australia not being uh, recognized. Uh, in the public, but in the mining, yes, not all Indonesian uh, know that. And and the third um, uh, mistake and uh, maybe that the culture. So there is a couple of uh, misunderstanding uh, culture between uh, investor come to Indonesia. Even the expert working in Indonesia make the work more difficult uh, and then to run the business. Until now, that actually there's still a little bit gap here, but in my experience uh, being in Indonesia, uh, running the business of Australian company, one of that is uh, uh, underground mining in Indonesia. We are very successful at the time that we 12 years uh, bring underground that never been in Indonesia except in. Uh, uh, Antam, uh, Indonesia, uh, Bengkat become a very successful to set up business, uh, in Halmahera. And then we, uh, we've done the job very good. And unfortunately, the Indonesia not really concerned anymore about underground because the, uh, not understanding and also because the license, also because the cost, high cost. And then uh, other company that been successful in Indonesia actually that I know of uh, like um, well company that's uh, uh, like a, uh, a well company is like a farm company that we bought in uh, brought to Indonesia before and still exists in exists in Balikpapan they're doing so well and in the past that were we bought also Australian company uh, for. Um, Heavy equipment uh, rental company uh, that we done it in Kalimantan, but at this moment we already finished with the job and then back to Australia. So a lot of actually company in uh, from Australia has been successful in Indonesia and then still opportunity. But how do we successful to be success, successful in Indonesia until now specifically for our company? Uh, we devastated the business. I mean that we are not just growing. Uh, Australian uh, product like that, but we also divided our company more, more specific, more specifically or more wider. Instead of only selling product, we also that bring technology from Australia, uh, such as like we are in equipment system, electrical system, fleet management system, industrial lighting, and other other. Uh, activity, including training, including, uh, including, uh, uh, including that uh, promotion about the product itself. Uh, this actually uh, keep us 
keep us uh, still stand at this moment in Indonesia. And besides that, uh, as representative of Indonesia, before my late husband is the brand of the brand of the technology and the product, but I'm the one in management how to dealing with the local company, local government, tech, and other things that's really helpful in the business because I do understand the culture and try to bring that other expert who work with us to understand the culture of Indonesia. And then we living with a uh, culture not like lifestyle in, in, in Australia, which is a quite expensive, but we try to do the business uh, more um, economies, but what I can say that it's not cheaper economy, uh, so we can uh, compete with all the price and the condition in Indonesia until now. So, in my uh, in my uh, uh, opinion, while we can be here, we organize it, especially our pesco properly, and then the market we manage uh, directly to the customer and promotion we make, and then we help. We have our customer, and then we try every time to find the new technology especially from Australia. So that's why I think that we can uh, keep to be survived until 25 years and then we still keep our employee. Uh, more than 100 people now still working with us. I'm not fired them yet. So that is uh, my opinion. I hope all Australia at this moment can be bring the new technology that we need here and then education and training and promotion. That's my, um, my opinion. Thank you so much. Thanks very much, Mary.